why. So today our lesson is all about how to find a standard equation of a circle. Kasi dalawang bagay po yun. We have a standard equation and we have a general equation. So before that, let us define what is a circle. Ano po ba ang circle? We know that is a round, right? But when we are talking about a circle, it is the set of points equidistant from a fixed point within called the center. So this is a circle and this is the center and after that, ito po yung point. It means to say, P is any point on the circle. Ibig sabihin, from this center, if you are going to get the point, pwede rin po dito. Basta lahat po dito sa loob, sa gilid ng circle, may point po yun. And uh, a center has H and K. It means to say, if you have your point, a point has X and Y. It means to say, ang unang number ay tinatawag natin na X, ang pangalawang number ay tinatawag natin na Y. And if we are talking about a center, a center has a point H and K. It means to say, H is the first number, K is the second number. And we will be using R as the radius, right? And then, if you are going to get the standard equation of a circle, the standard equation of a circle is R squared is equal to X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared. It means to say this will be your standard equation of a circle. If you're going, if somebody will ask you to write the standard equation of a circle, ito po yung magiging form niya. And in order to get the radius, we will be using the distance formula. We know that from a previous uh, lesson, we studied about the distance formula. So if you're talking about the radius, then you will be using x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. Ginagamit lang po natin guys ang r or the radius kapag there is no radius in the given problem. For example, dalawang uh, order pair, a uh, point 1 passing through the point, gagamitan niyo po ng R that is no, in order to look for the value of the radius. Okay, so we have a standard equation and we have the radius. So let us uh, apply our equation here. Find the standard equation of the circle with the center 2, negative 4, and radius of 3. So let's go back. A center has H and K. It means to say, this 2 is your H and negative 4 is your K. And you have your R. So, gagawin natin, gabalikan po natin guys, ang standard equation. Magiging R squared is equal to X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared. Okay? So, isa substitute lang po natin yun. Alam po natin, ang radius natin ay 3. So, 3 squared is equal to x minus. What is the value of your h? The value of your h is 2 squared plus y minus. The value of your, of your k is negative 4. So, you have to use uh, open and close parenthesis, negative 4 and then squared. Let us simplify first. A negative times negative will give you positive. So, 3 squared will give you 9 is equal to x minus 2 squared plus negative times negative will give you positive. So, y plus 4 squared. So, this is now your standard equation of a circle. Nakasulat na po siya. We know that your r squared is your 9 x minus the value of your h plus y plus the value of your k. Okay, so, uh, ito po yung tinatawag natin na standard equation of a circle. But like for example, if I will give you a two-order pair, how are you going to write it in a standard equation? Okay, so let's proceed to example number two. Okay, guys, for example number two, 
find the standard equation of a circle with center at 2, negative 1, and passing through negative 1 and 2. So when we are talking about a center, a center has H and K. So this will be your H at saka K. Pero kapag naman, gagkukunin po natin because we don't have radius. I know that just now I have mentioned that in order to get the value of a radius, you are going to use the distance formula. And the formula for that is x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So if you're going to identify, this is your x sub 1 and this is your y sub 1. This is your x sub 2 and this will be your y sub 2. So, in order to substitute the given, so magiging r na po ninyo ito. So, x sub 2 will be negative 1, okay, minus x sub 1, which is 2, squared, plus y sub 2, y sub 2 is 2, minus y sub 1, which is negative 1, and then squared. So, we are going to simplify so, r is equal to negative 1 and negative 2. They have the same sign, so we are going to add. So, negative 1 and negative 2, that is equal to negative 3 squared plus, okay, 2, 1, because the value of your y sub 2 is 2 minus the value of your y sub 1, which is negative 1. So, 2 negative times negative will give you positive, so 2 plus 1 is uh, squared. And then simplify r is equal to negative 3 squared, meaning negative 3 times negative 3, that is equal to 9, plus 2 plus 1 is 3, squared it, and then that is 9. So therefore, the radius is equal to square root of 18. We know that square root of 18 is not a perfect square. It's not a perfect root. So, as is lang po yun, yan po ang magiging radius natin. So, you have already your radius. You go back again to your problem. Your center is at HK. So, alam po natin, ang standard equation is X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to R squared. So, substitute na po natin X minus H which is 2 squared plus y minus, okay, your k is negative 1, so negative times negative 1 squared equals your value of your radius is square root of 18. So square root of 18 squared. So simplify x minus 2 squared plus negative times negative will give you positive, so y plus 1 squared, and after that, square root of 18, so cancel na po natin ang square root magiging 18 na po siya. So therefore, guys, this is now your standard equation of a circle given uh, with a center of 2, negative 1, and passing through negative 1 and 2. So the tip there, Kapag isa ang given center and the radius, what are you going to do? You need to substitute it on your standard equation of a circle. Okay, see to it that your center is H and K. Kapag naman dalawa ang point, dalawang order pair, in order to get the value of your radius, get the value of your distance, okay, using distance formula, to get the value of your radius. Once na may radius ka na, you go back again to your problem, sa center na kayo at sa substitute na po. So therefore, ito na po yung standard equation of a circle. Marami pa po yun, malawak po ko. Kasi guys, when we are talking about the circle, there is a general equation of a circle, and then after that, given naman po dito, and then we will get the center and we will get the radius. After that, uh, mag magkaroon pa yun ng completing the square. So, broad po yung, yung topic about the circle. So, this is the, the first lesson and the next day I will be uh, teaching you another topic. So, I hope guys that you learned something today and have a great day everyone.